Hello everyone, Alex RC Freak here coming at you with another video on transmission removal on a E-Revo 2.0 brushless. So, what you got here, this is the Kush drive. Alright, I like the Kush drive because it uses the X-Max style Mod 1 spur gears. So, the only thing I don't like is Traxxas is doing this thing where you use fixed gear pitch, or fixed um spur gear and pinion gear adjustments so if you, there's a little groove that goes in here plastic and it has three different holes in it you can take it out obviously it's out right now and you can adjust your gear pitch you just need a four millimeter inside diameter flat washer on that screw that goes into your motor mount and you can adjust the you know gear mesh any way you want all you do is you take a, a, p, a notebook a little notebook uh, piece of paper cut it about three inch a little piece two three inch piece Fold it in half, squish it in between the gear teeth here and the uh, the spur gear and the pinion gear. Put press them together real firm, and then tighten the motor mount down. That's how easy it is to adjust gear mesh. So I don't know what the whole issue is with people having problems, but anyway, yeah. So that's what you do. But anyway, this thing doesn't feel like it has any slop in it. So Trax has put a flat washer. They you take off this cover here. Trax has put a flat washer in here. <laughs> So that way, it doesn't have any slop. They got rid of that slop, which is nice. I like that a lot. So anyway, but yeah, here's the transmission. You have six screws holding it on right there. And uh, let me see if I can get you a better view here. But yeah, you have six screws holding it on right there. As if you can see it, you know, sorry, the lighting's kind of not the best. But anyway, you just kind of jiggle this out very gently. That's what I do, so... Anyway, there's a transmission case. You know, that's the same idler gear they've always had. So that's the same gear they've always had too. But uh, this is the meat and potatoes right here. That's the idler gear. This is the uh, top shaft gear, as some people call it. And then you got your spur gear right here, obviously. This is the, the uh, torque biasing center drive on the e Revo 2.0. So basically, let me uh, just get a paper towel here and wipe off this excess grease on the edge here because I'm that literally that picky. But this is exactly what I mean. See right here, this is my issue. No grease on the gears, they're bone dry. At least put a little bit of a coating of grease on the gears, that's all I ask. It's not that bad, I mean seriously. I mean I know these RC vehicles are made in mass production, but still. So anyway, what you got is aluminum housing. I really like that. Full metal training. So basically what you got here is a full metal transmission. You got the steel idler gear, steel upper shaft gear, uh, mod one gear pitch. So it's really nice aggressive gear pitch. Um, they use rubber sealed bearings. Very nice. I'm going to take this case off and completely clean it and solvent and then put it all back together. But anyway, this is the meat and potatoes here. This is what we're trying to, um, you know, what this so, so special is about it. So there's 20 million differential fluid in here. This is cast aluminum with machine bearing surfaces. So anyway, I'm going to clean that off with a clean paper towel. So basically, I recommend doing all this stuff by hand. I mean, you can use power tools, just do it with caution. That's all I say. Do it with caution. You don't want to strip out any metal or damage anything. So look at that, it's just barely, these were barely even tight. So there's no Loctite on it. Nope, there's no Loctite on it. Not a good sign. So basically, you got four screws. Now it doesn't really matter how you take them out, you know, as long as you get them out. Take this out like that, you know. Please bear with me, I'm sorry. Doing it by hand. There's the other one. So I recommend using Loctite. You know, you can use the, you know, the liquid kind or you can use the gel kind. I personally like the gel kind. You squeeze in like a little tube. All right, now this is torque biasing center drive. Let me just try to take this thing off. This thing is really tight. Let me just work it off here. Okay, let me get you close up. Look at that. 
that's 20 million definitely look at how thick this this gear looks beefcake i have to say this gear it feels heavy like it, honestly it's probably 50 65 grams at least but uh yeah this is 20 million diff fluid see how thick it is you just fold it up around itself but it's not even filled really that much so um it i mean i'm pushing it down a little bit but it's still pretty bone dry if you look in there it uses the same gasket as the front and rear differential um, this is basically an aluminum differential cup for the you I mean the the X Max 8s had this aluminum Torque biasing center drive cup too, but you could not use it on the front and rear differential It wouldn't work it would the differential inside internally here would not work correctly So um, I don't know if that's true or not with this truck. It does, it's basically the exact same differential cup as the uh, front and rear differentials so that's just something to note. Um, this is the gasket. Obviously you got the gears inside there. Let me clean this gasket because I'm that picky, literally. That picky. But anyway, set that gasket aside. And you just push this out here. Let me just push this out. Literally, it's tight. And everything is nice, tight fit. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so yes, this differential cup is different well, let me let me explain so 20 million diff fluid you can just have it the fluid hold it so sorry working on this thing all day so please bear with me here anyway see this point see that little notch right there i'm going to be cleaning these gears off but see this little notch Let's see if i can get you up, up close if the camera would focus yeah that little notch right there that goes into the groove right there the the diff cup housing so you will not be able to use these on the front and rear differential. And then also there's a metal shim right here. If you notice, the metal shim right there. I think that's really cool. They did a metal shim. This is the seal right here. You just want to be careful not to damage that in any sort of way. Let's clean that off. Then you could take this gear pop it out like so this is that gear look how beefy i mean god the weight of this gear i mean it really does look very nice i like how it has these little uh notches in here so it'll hold down these keepers right here for the pins the cross pins it holds them down so they can't float very nice design but it's just god this thing is just really built very 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 well i'm extremely impressed with how it's built Besides me having to take every tracks of vehicle apart and do my usual, but you know, really it's built very well. Let me get a paper towel here. Set all this stuff up. So anyway, so basically what you got here, let me let me just put this right here here for you. So what you got here is let me just tilt this down here for you. So this is the drive gear. And this this short one right here goes in the diff cup. You want to make sure you get the that right. This little short shaft goes in the diff cup. This long shaft right here goes to this gear side. This gear side, all right? You want to make sure you get the long shaft with this gear and then you get the short shaft inside the differential cup. So you will get that correct. This is extremely important. It really is. So anyway, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to take this little stuff and set it aside. And won't be reusing it because you shouldn't reuse it. Yeah, but the this diff is really... I'm impressed. I'm just... I'm, I'm serious. I'm impressed with the drivetrain so far. The electronics I'm not impressed with, but... I'm impressed so far with the... Uh, you know, the drivetrain, so... I just like Castle. I wish they would have stuck with Castle, in my opinion. I, I think that would have been the smartest way to go. But, you know. Not a big deal. I mean, I don't know. I haven't driven it with a stock system. I'm going to try it. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, switch to XT90 connectors. Some good connectors. And you never know. I may, I may be pretty impressed with it. I, I don't know yet, to be honest with you. I really have no idea. 
I'm just trying to clean up these gears a little bit for you. So that way you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So let me just pause it and I'll be right back. All right, back again. This is the Kush drive. I already removed the spur gear. Okay, if you notice. This is, I've already removed these three screws and there's also another three screws that you have to remove for the spur gear. So this cover comes off. This is an elastomer. This is what this metal pin goes against. But I want to show you something here. I thought was kind of cool. Traxxas did do it. They finally, in my video on my X-Max on how to get the slop out of the Kush drive, guess what? Traxxas did it. And you know what? Check it out. This is the little washer that you have to put on here to get the slop out. And check this out. They even did a groove. This is how good they're getting on this truck. Is They even did a groove right here for the pin. See this pin? That pin? They even did a groove so that holds that pin down. You know how awesome that is? I mean, seriously, this truck, I would recommend buying this hands down. The, the speed control will go out. I can pretty much guarantee that. I say, I'm not saying that every single one's going to go out. I'm just saying over a period of time, depending on how you well you maintain your vehicle, it will go out. But if you get a different speed control for it, this truck, I, I would recommend it, honestly. It's, it's an awesome truck. Now, this is the elastomer thing. Sorry about my hands being a little dirty. I'm working on this thing all day. But yeah, there it is. And this even looks beefier than the other ones in the X-Max, believe it or not. So, I mean, damn. They just... Very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Let's pop this pin out like that. Take this off. Like that. Now keep in mind, this has to go like, you know, this all goes back the same way it came apart. So this part right here has to go down so where it's flush with that. So just, if you stick it the other way, let me just pop it out and stick it the other way to show you. If you stick it this way, that is wrong. You does That's not the way it goes in. So you have to take it, take it, flip it over, stick it like that. And uh, this will hit against that last more thing. And that way... It'll help cushion the drivetrain. So anyway, yeah, Traxxas has did an, an awesome job on this. I'm, I'm just super impressed. I'm super happy about it. I'm pumped up about it, actually. And uh, this is that top shaft gear. Um, very nicely done. It just looks really well. I like it. And this is the other gear. Looks very nice. So anyway, I'm very, very impressed. Uh, Traxxas did an awesome job. They just... They did it. They truly did an awesome job on this truck. So, like I say, I'm gonna be cleaning all this out, wiping the transmission clean, the transmission case here clean, and cleaning these gears off and automobile parts solvent. All this, and uh, this just it feels beefy. It just feels strong. I have tons of confidence this truck will be able to take a beating, and if the stock ESC will uh, last a long time or if it's actually really decent that would be very awesome and you know I, I, have, I have a lot of hope for this truck I really do have high hopes the only thing I don't know if I like is I don't like that I didn't like the VXL 8S ESC is the you know the speed controls I never like tracks and speed controls but um yeah it's 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 an awesome it's an awesome drivetrain wise truck but yeah it's just that's the inside of the training that's just to show you the inside of it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm going to clean all these parts up. I'm going to clean the differential parts up. And uh, I'll do a reassembly video. So anyway, thank you so much for spending the time to click on my videos and watch them. It is greatly appreciated. Anyone who likes, comments, subscribes. Um, like I say, seriously, it is appreciated. I do appreciate it. I don't take anything for granted. So I am honored to have you guys watch my videos, subscribe or not, honestly. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and let's keep the RC hobby going strong. Alex RC Freak out. Peace.